welcome to Bean Stuff. Today we are doing something a little bit different. Today uh, we're, we're we're doing some tasting of air quotes canned coffee, but uh, some come in glass bottles, some mm-hmm. are in cans. So today we've got the Chameleon Cold Brew Espresso Coffee, a La Colombia Coffee Mocha Draft Latte Cold Pressed Espresso. I've got a I can't believe I had this in my hand. Really, a Starbucks Cold Brew Coffee. This is a vanilla and fig, and I also have a Pete's Black and White. True iced espresso. I've got a another. I've got a Stumptown Cold Brew Original Coffee, mm-hmm. and then I also don't believe I have this one in my hand. But <laughs> I have a, a Dunkin' Donuts Iced Coffee, Coffee and Milk Beverage. So it Might it, it says espresso. It doesn't show there's any flavoring, so we'll uh, see. I've also got some Cold Brew High uh, Cold Brew High Brew Coffee Double Espresso. This is another one I think. You, you and I are looking at this. And think, I'm excited about this one. Yeah, the Stumptown Coffee Roaster Nitro. I guess kind of our, our methodology was what are just some common, well-known mm-hmm. brand name canned coffees? We went to the grocery store. We thought, what can we buy here? And we, went, we wanted to get brand names. And some of them, they only had a flavored one. Some of them. So it's not necessarily a fair comparison it's to the what, actual what, type, but yeah. it's what you can get at the grocery right. store. How do they taste? Are they any good? I must admit, Reed, when yeah. you suggested this whole topic, I had my reservations. Well, and when I, I actually, went to the supermarket with you, I still had more reservations. I couldn't believe my hand was going out to get these things. Well, and you know what? I want to. I want to. I do want to shout out to uh, there was a couple comments in YouTube actually mm-hmm. um, that I had seen for someone who was watching the video, and they said, "Why don't you do canned coffee?" And I thought, I, I don't know why. I don't know why I've never thought of that. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. here we are today. We are going to for each of these. I wrote a little piece of paper. Good. So oh, good. We're going to smell it. We're going to slurp it, we're going to talk about it, and we're going to score it from one to five. One being the worst, five being the best. So, Dad, I'm going to let you pick which one do you want to start with. I'm going to start with Pete's. And I'm going to read what they have on the back. Okay. They said, we pair our signature dark roast Colombian espresso with the simplest ingredients. My Dark roast, interesting. Nothing odd or artificial allowed. We are stubborn that way. Whoa. It's the only true iced espresso worthy of Alfred Pete's name. Cheers. Only true iced espresso. That's a big word. Yeah. So let's uh, let's go ahead and crack this one. Okay. Ooh, sounds good. Had a good crisp crack. Yeah, I like that. Crack. I almost a crap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dan, I'm going to let you take the first sip. Oh, I'm going to smell it. You have a smell first. It's got a, well, it's hard to describe. Like a it fruity. It smells like barley almost. Yeah, barley. That's a good word. Almost yeah. smells like wheaty. Mm, yes. I that's... don't know. And, and there is milk with this one. This is a black and white, so it's espresso and milk. Milk, right. Go ahead yep. and go ahead and take a slip. Twelve of that grams one. of sugar. Hmm. I get a lot of the milk. Very sweet. Very sweet. A lot of milk. It, you know what? It tastes a little bit like if you're gonna make a, a steamer of yes. coffee, yes, or a steamer of milk, and then put like <laughs> yeah. coffee flavoring in. It, it, yeah, and that's and what the, it, I'm curious. What the milk is because it doesn't. It does have kind of a weedy barley taste to it. And you can. The, the milk, you can get skim milk, which is things out there saying skim milk's props, possibly not the right thing to put in there. Um, whole milk's probably still good. And What's reading it? the ingredients, there are there is skim milk, cane yes. sugar, depostis, deposassium phosphate, this is in parentheses, you. salt, <laughs> <laughs> okay. pectin and natural flavors. But it does have skim milk, like you were, skim milk right. like you were saying. And that's the taste I'm picking up mostly in that, actually. And you had talked about sugar content, which is a big thing. Um, we had debated about how big of a thing, but uh, yeah. Well, when you got when you're going here. black coffee, right? You're not you're not going to have sugar in your black coffee from no. home if that's what you're making. But if you're going to drink these cans, a lot of people are going to say, "I want a little sweet in this." So what are you going to do? You're going to put milk, or you're going to put sugar into it, or, or a whole both. list, both, and a whole list of other name chemicals I can't pronounce. So I would like to say Pete's coffee. Out of one to five. One to five. One being really bad, horrible, yucks. And and what are we grading for? Are we grading for, is this a good coffee? Oh, that's a good question. I think we should just say, you know, is this a good coffee? And Well, therefore, I'm going to have to go lower because I don't taste the coffee very much in there. I would say a two. Yeah, I agree. I, it's it's agree. not, there's no strong coffee component. No, but sweetness is there. It's, it's smooth to drink. I would say it's drinkable. It's not too sweet. Almost too sweet, but it's it's not, not quite. quite the, yeah, I agree. And it's a small can, so I feel like you could drink this. Right. But if you're looking for coffee, it doesn't have a great coffee taste. Yeah. So that's Pete's. Um, I'm going to go for, I'm going to go for the Chameleon Cold Ooh. Brew. You know, I, I've seen this one at, uh, I think, Whole Foods. Now, this this is different. It's, it's, it's not 
pressurized. So this is not canned. It's yeah. in a glass bottle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's uh, so the the they say the espresso cold brew, rich and complex. This espresso cold brew packs a super smooth flavor punch that's ready to go when you are. Gonna push the smooth there. Yeah. It's organic, consciously crafted cold brew takes commitment. We source organic beans and carefully air roast them. Oh, they sang yeah. To deliver yeah. low acid, low <laughs> to deliver low acid, super smooth coffee every time. All right, smell. I'm gonna let you smell that one. It's got a, actually, it's got a. It smells like coffee. Yeah, I was gonna say almost an instant coffee feel to it, but a taste to it, I should say. The other one, the other one, <laughs> smell, smell, yeah. <laughs> the other one, the the peats add a very really weedy barley taste yes. smell, but um, but this one, it smells like coffee. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna take a swig. Have a little. Yeah. Oh, that's a good. I like that. That's now that tastes. Well, I won't say. I won't, I'll let you. It does. If you're gonna say that tastes more coffeeness, because there's no milk in there or sweetness, it tastes like coffee. I mean, that tastes like iced coffee. It what, does. Like that's what that's what I would expect. I'm gonna take a drink, not a slurp this time. Whoa! I noticed. That I can see big red letters there saying ten calories, so you can take as much as you want, mate. Ten calories, zero sugar. <laughs> Um, I'm looking at the ingredients here. Filtered water and organic coffee. They've ticked all the boxes in terms of, you know, the boxes you want ticked in terms of healthy and, and good. I didn't take a, just a sip of that. It's a normal. Here I am. I'm out there. I'm having a <laughs> sip. For a cold brew, I say that's quite good. I would much rather this one over the uh, the Pete's coffee. Because this one I feel like I could do over and over. I could drink it. Yes. And it's not... It, it's not going to be as, it's definitely not as sweet, but it's, it's like they said, it's not very bitter. Yes. I'm, I'm a little nervous to score it way too high. Too high. And you know? I think we could come back and say, let's put it down or up. I'm going to go for a, can you go three and a half, four? I was going to go four. Okay, let's do four. I agree. I was going to go four because it's, so it's, far it's been very good. And if you want coffee, you've tasted it. We need to address something. Oh, we We do. have some seltzer water here to cleanse our palate. But we should go this or? Yeah. Okay, Dad, you pick the I'm next one choose, here. I, I like this one. This is the La Colombie. I'm not sure how quite to say it. No, I feel like I'm saying that wrong, too. Yeah, mocha, draft, cold pressurized, frothed. It's got milk in there, 120 calories. The the sugar content, if I can see, they've put it very small in here. It's got 14 grams. That's 8%. So, yeah, that's, that's it's up a, there. It's a lot compared to zero in the, uh, yep. the chameleon. But guess what? It's perfectly froth milk, a shot of cold pressed espresso, mm. a dark chocolate full... A taste and feel of a true mocha. Wow. Naturally sweet with only a pinch of cane sugar. This one is a mocha, so we already know going on going into it, we're going to have some flavor. Yes, in yes. So go ahead and crack it open. Interesting, 170 um, milligrams of caffeine. That's quite a bit, actually. Quite but a well, bit. I like the can. It's So when you drink it, it's got this little plastic here. It's going to be quite nice. So you open up like normal, if I can. And have a little smell. I'm assuming you might just smell chocolate. Ooh, that just smells like a Hershey's bar. It smells like chocolate, doesn't it? Go ahead and take a swig of that. Okay. Whoa. That's, cho- that's, a, that's chocolate. Sweet, smooth. I taste zero coffee in that. Yeah, I, I don't. It almost just tastes like a malt milkshake. Yeah. It's, we, it's got a little bit of, not a bitter, almost like a bitter chocolate to it, but I yes. think that m- maybe that's the coffee. I, my growing up, we had something called Milo, and that's sort of what it tastes like. Malty. That's not coffee. No. I would give this a two. I would too. If we're looking at coffee, particularly, um, yeah. If you're interested in like a almost like a cold hot chocolate, this is brilliant. And you're right because I I just almost went to have another taste because it tastes I, good. I wanted the chocolate. It. I would say it doesn't taste bad. It tastes good, but it mm. doesn't taste like coffee. I'd go back there for chocolate. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I'm gonna go for my seltzer water real quick. Oh, yeah, you're a good man. Keep the standard up here. I'm gonna get something out of the way that. Uh, I didn't go there actually. I saw it there. My hand wouldn't go over. Wouldn't wouldn't sort of. I'll I'll take one for the team here and Thanks, take Reed. this uh, Duncan's you're, out of it. You're packaging. a good man. Whoa! Look at this. This just before you you can open it. But and what's it say about this coffee? Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's so it says a rich, smooth coffee. They also they're all using the smooth word, particularly the ones with milk in them. I will say there's not a lot on this. Interesting. I wonder if they're hiding something. I'll, the, I'll read you I'll the see ingredients. On the top, Best Buy. Best by May of 2019. And what's today? Today is January 13th. Okay, so quite, of 2019. quite a long shelf life. So these have a lot of sodium, 100 milligrams. Wow. 30 is... milligrams of cholesterol. How much sugar do you think this has? Well, that last one had like 12. I'm going to go for 39. That's a lot. Granted, this might size-wise be a little larger, but uh, there but are... Hopefully they've compared it sort of the same sort of... So what's in here is coffee. Yes, good. And this is water, <laughs> comma, coffee. 
<laughs> and then it says skim milk, sugar, cream, potassium phosphate, and pectin. Mm, interesting flavor. So this is Dunkin' Donuts espresso. Okay, so here we go. It's got espresso and milk. You know, if I'd woken up this morning, I would not think I was going to put Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee into my mouth. Give that a smell. You know what it smells like? And no one on the podcast is going to understand this, but oh, I mean, yeah. it smells like uh, when we used to go to Cannon Beach, there was uh, the house we stayed at in Cannon Beach. Yes. It smelled like this. Like a seawatery. It's like seawater, old wood, wood yeah. and like secondhand couches. Yeah. You may notice when I smelled it, I smelled I was finding it hard to find a smell. It's an interesting odor. Yeah. It's very neutral. It's like, wow. I would say it, it smells more like coffee than the La Colombia, which yeah. smelled like just chocolate, but it still doesn't have a boldly it doesn't, coffee flavor no, it doesn't, or scent. Let me let me give it a little. Oh, that's a good slit, mate. <laughs> I'll let you taste that. Oh, I'll, I'll let you taste that before I. I'm say I'm not anything. sure your facial expressions sort of gave way too much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> you know what it tastes like? Oh, a lot of things go through my mind. I'm going to call... Uh, this is this is like sugar and milk. Just sugar and milk. I'm not going to have a second one no, if you don't I, mind. It is strong milk flavor. Very strong milk. Very strong like cane sugar, which is I think what they said they put in mm-hmm. here. And the aftertaste, it just stays there. It's just thick. It doesn't it's change. Got, it's got such a heavy body, mm-hmm. such a... It's very sugary. I, I don't think I'd be able to finish this. No, I'm not even having a second slip of that one. This one right here to me is Ooh. just too much. Whereas like the, the La Colombia, this one, the fantastic coffee flavor. Or Fan- sorry. Chocolate. No coffee flavor. Yeah, but fantastic, fantastic chocolate. <laughs> yes. But, and I could drink it. I could yeah. drink this whole can and be I, happy. I, I wanted to. This, I feel like I'm drinking chemicals and sugar. Wow. That's interesting. So... I'm going to have to one give that a being one. the lowest. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to give this a one. Yeah. It I'm, has no coffee flavor. It's far too sweet. Yeah. It's just not good. Maybe. All right, Dad. What's the next one you're going to oh, do? Oh, I'm going to do a, a Starbucks the, the I'm, vanilla I'm, and fig flavor. I'm curious. Vanilla and fig. I've never once thought I should put fig in my coffee. And I've never thought about sh- but I would putting say vanilla so, in my coffee. So while you're opening, or no, before you open that, have a little. we went to the store. We went to Fred Meyer, which we have here, obviously. Can you see how much sugar? 13 grams. 22. Woo. So it's in the middle of the <laughs> yeah, other ones. It's pretty but, high. But we went looking for Starbucks because obviously Starbucks is well known. And we almost ordered a Starbucks from Starbucks. Right? Yes. But then we thought, the well, that's shop. that's yeah. cold brew. That's not store bought from the <coughs> can or a bottle. So we went to the section and it was kept warm, which is interesting. I've still, I've still got Dunkin' yeah, Donuts. You, Dunkin you sip on some of that seltzer water. Mm. But we found a lot of like energy drinks. There was a lot of like uh, double shot energy, all these things. And this is the only one we found that was a cold brew or not yeah. energy drink Didn't style. Didn't have the weird energy in it. Again, we're not necessarily doing cold brew, but it was their only the one that was a kind of real-ish coffee. Go ahead and crack it open. It didn't make a very satisfying sound, did it? No, there was no pressure. Mm, I have a smell of that. I will say, I like the, I like the glass bottle. Oh, it I looks think. nice, actually. This one smells exactly like uh, Pete's. It has that wheat kind of barley smell Man, to this, it. This, this, and the bottle's going back to what I remember my father, who was a pharmacist. The old tablet bottles. <laughs> it puts, looks like a chemist bottle. It does. What does it say on the side here? Oh, okay. Uh, we started with a premium blend of beans specially selected to brew without heat. Then we added natural vanilla, uh, fig flavors, to enhance the coffee's complexity, creating a taste that's smooth, should balanced, have, and subtly sweet. Should we have gotten like a bucket or something in case? Uh, oh, my. Careful, careful. <laughs> I'm gonna All right, go for it. I would say this. What would you say, Reed? Initial impact. Yes. It tastes like a lot like the Pete's coffee. It did. Then there's an aftertaste where I do get a little fig. I was exactly going to say that. At first, it hit my mouth, and I was like, ah, there's not going to be any fig in this. No, this tastes like the milk. aftertaste. That's where it was. I don't know about the vanilla. Yeah. It wasn't strong. It tastes more just like milk. and Flavored milk with a little fig aftertaste. I would say right now, the back half of my tongue has a fig flavor, Mm -hmm. and the front half has the milk flavor. And I I don't don't enjoy it. No, it's smooth. I mean, it's not rough. I'm going to just a drink this time. Yeah. And that's good. There you are having another drink, whereas we weren't going to do it in the last one. You know, I'm going to say I don't like it. It's not as bad as Duncan, but it's got this weird, almost stale aftertaste mm-hmm. at a point. I would go for 1.5. 1.5. 1.5. 1.5. 1.5. 1.5. 1.5. 1.5. 1.5. 1.5. 1.5. 1.5. 1.5. 1.
<laughs> I was going to go two. Okay, two. I guess it says whole numbers. I guess numbers. 1.5 is probably better because it's not as good as the Pete's. And th- what do we give that? That was a two. Okay. Yeah. So Pete's was a Should two. Duncan was a one. And the La Columbia was also a one because it didn't taste like coffee. But it was actually really good. <laughs> yeah, but it just didn't taste like coffee at all. Oh, it's have some of this. A little seltzer water. All, all the coffee I tasted was what I read. I didn't really taste it. I'm going to go for this one. So we're good. this is the I'll cold think. brew, high brew coffee. I do like the can, the logo. We got this one. All all of these are from Fred Meyer. Um, this one says premium, bream, be, premium <laughs> beans. <laughs> P- premium beans brewed over time, not heat. There's a hundred. 130 to 150 milligrams of caffeine. Okay, so a little less than one of the other ones. They don't all they don't all say that on the can no. or the bottle. All right, so let me read what we got here. So it looks like it's from Austin, Texas. It says, born from the adventure of a lifetime. Oh, my. We created High Brew to help you navigate anything the day throws your way. Elizabeth and David. Well, thank you, wow. Elizabeth and David. Nice stories. I they re- do have direct trade on here. They've got and natural I, caffeine. And what have you got? I was reading it was, it's got to blend with reduced milk and sweetened with cane sugar and natural, which is like, oh, but then it's just a stevia is the natural. And that's not a bad thing. Uh, well, and so. as, as far as ones that do have sugar, it has six grams of sugar, which is the lowest. Yeah. They put it on there. I like it when they tell you up front. What it is. It gets confusing when they the, the yeah. serving size is different to the other one. So you've got to sort of make another calculation on that. And the ingredients on this are cold brewed coffee, which yes. is his water and coffee. Good. Reduced fat milk. So I'm wondering, that must be yep. skim milk-ish. Yes. Cane sugar, pectin, and potassium phosphate. Okay. So again, we've got extra things in here. It says it does contain milk. So it's it's funny. They say espresso, but... If you ordered an espresso, that would technically be just espresso shot. A shot, shot. yeah. No milk. So the fact there's milk in here is like, what? Which is that blurring of things for most of the population. But also, if you had just espresso in this, you'd have like five or ten shots in here. Yeah, that's (laughs) right. All right, let me open this up here. That's a little different again. I would say, for me, if we've got... So there was Pete's and and Pete's Coffee and the Starbucks smelled the same. Mm. This one smells very similar to the Pete's again, Mm. but it's a little... More towards oh, coffee. coffee. I agree. Yeah. I would say it smells more like coffee than the other ones mm. that have had milk. Yuck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? I was expecting a little more when I smelled it, actually. Initial initial taste for me, I was like, okay, there's coffee there. And it tastes like watered down coffee. Yeah. And then as it goes on, the aftertaste, you lose that and you get this milky, malty strangeness. Burnt coffee. Yeah. You know, it, it tastes like coffee that's over-extracted or burned. Uh, they say dark. Almost initially tastes like watered-down, dark, dark, dark coffee. I totally and then agree it with tastes you. like milk. But it has this weird, it doesn't have enough body. No, it sort of it just disappears on you at the end, but you're not sure what you drank. So you have another drink to say, what did I drink? It's got a weird wateriness to it that I don't appreciate. <coughs> also, the flavor is very dark. And maybe that's the espresso type. I'm sure they have other ones. It says natural caffeine two times. Two times a normal cup, I'm th- assuming they mean. I don't know, yeah. But which is not as much as the others, but ah, but it just doesn't taste it's I, I would say oh man. I, we, I'm sorry. I, I, I would give that a two. Yeah, I would too. Because it does have a coffee flavor. Initially. Initially. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's a bad coffee flavor. And then there's that wateriness, which I don't like. But I'm going to give it a two okay. because I think it yeah, had a I, coffee flavor. Yeah, it did have that initially somewhere in there. More so, way more so than Duncan. <laughs> Definitely more than the, the La yeah. Columbia is unfortunate. Yeah, it's it's a great chocolate flavor. And, 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 to be fair with that, it does say it's a mocha. Right. And I think, so you know, that's what they're pushing is the chocolate flavor. Had they, we gone to another away store, it. maybe we would have found a regular coffee version. Like to, I, that's the nice thing is all these. I like to go and get none of this with just coffee. I think, I wonder what they do. The La Columbia did a good chocolate. So I'm like, Ooh. I looked online on a video of it and they looked like they were doing some good stuff, how they were producing it. And I thought, I like, well, like what I see. I don't know if it's the truth, but that's yeah. what I see. All right. So our second to last one. All right. So what do we got? Oh, sorry. I've got Stumptown Original Cold Brew Coffee. Mm. And uh, we tirelessly source, I think I read this before, <laughs> a, a quality coffee to create a sweet and balanced brew that is that is unmatched. Cheers. Good luck. Uh, so there's, little, there's five grams of sodium, five milligrams, sorry. Yeah. Um, Did you see sugar in there? Nope, there's no sugar in here. So there's literally just water and coffee. Make sure you think we're going to taste coffee. So go this. ahead and take a smell. Oh, yeah, this smells like the chameleon coffee. 
Yeah, which is the coffee smell one. Yeah. Yeah, which was the one that was just cold brew, which makes sense. <laughs> Hard to take a sip off. It's that. a small little, little hole going on there. Ooh, do, 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 do. We're about to say something. <laughs> hmm. I feel like we're in a good place. Again. I do. That's why I wanted to say too much. It's got a, co- a, a very nice coffee. No bitter after, And it's very balanced. By the way, we are not paid by Stumptown. No. They could pay us if they want to. I like this one, Reed. Man, and that, wow. I would say, has less of a bitter... Uh, the, the, the chameleon coffee didn't have a bitter taste necessarily. Could I have that one again? I just want to compare it with yeah, this one. Yeah, here's this one. Because these two are very similar. So there's the chameleon. I think we're now comparing straight coffee. Mm. We're not mixing with, with which in this is sort of one of the aims we had was well coffee. This is a coffee, you know, podcast. I'm so gonna take order. a drink of this one, the Stumptown. Yeah, yeah. Have it, have it, have the. No, I've just done the seltzer. I'm going to do the chameleon again. Yep. What score did we give that? Um, this was a four. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm going to give that Stumptown a five. Yeah, if that's four, that's five. It's funny the chameleon does not taste as good. No, if, initially it did because that was our first one, but uh, then we tasted all these sugary, milky <laughs> other flavors, and we thought that was really good. But this chameleon has some weird like oddities to it that I'm not now a fan that, of because we've had this. We suddenly like wow, man! That's if you have that stuff, you know it's funny. I I've seen a lot of people that sometimes it seems like a very hip one to have. Mm. It's also expensive. It's like five bucks or something. Yeah, compared to a lot of these are like two ninety nine or something. But this is freaking good. That is really good. Oh I, my! I goodness. agree with you. Five. Another sip here. Don't have it all, mate. Leave some for me. It's so smooth. It's got good body. It's got good aftertaste. The aftertaste is almost like a yeah. single origin. It's a low acidity, which makes sense. Cold brews are really low acidity usually, the way they've been prepared. Yeah, that's tasty. And it's got no added junk. I don't feel too bad yeah, about drinking which it. which is perhaps why it doesn't... They should say that a little more on the bottle, perhaps, just so you go, okay, let's compare what You know, these... and it's, it's interesting. They don't say what kind of coffee... And that's possibly a stump town. It's stump town's coffee. It's it's right, but it's what what blend? What you know? Oh, I doubt they're going to tell you that. But yeah, okay. Wow, so that, that was five. that was a treat. That's five. We've kind of gone through. Well, we've gone through one, two, three, four, five, six different ones. Some have flavors, some don't. Kind of what what you can find at the grocery store. This one, Dad, you read about this. I read this early on when I went looked online. I knew already that this, uh, in my mind, was a good coffee from what I'd read, what I'd learned about it already. And uh, so I was sort of excited. Which one to, is it? What is it? This is the Stumptown Coffee Roasters Nitro Cold Brew Coffee. Ooh, and I will admit to you something very, very honestly. Yes. I several times, have, several times, yes. have gone to the store on lunch breaks <sighs> And grab this. There's even a post on our Instagram if someone's willing to dig into that <laughs> of this exact coffee because it wow. is. I enjoy it, and I enjoy nitro coffee. If you don't know what nitro coffee is, it's definitely. I let mean, me, it's way smoother. It is, and let me tell you very quickly why the nitro they the bubbles in mm. there they're much smaller right. and they're much uh, more tight, and it brings a smooth uh, flavor out that you don't therefore need milk. Right. Right. You and, don't probably need sugar either, actually. <laughs> well, and just looking at the back of this, we've got zero added sugar, zero sugar in general. There's yes. a little bit of sodium, but the ingredients, it's hard to read on this one as well, but the ingredients are literally cold brew coffee. Yeah. And that's, and I assume nitro. Yeah. <laughs> um, the can, tight. Tight. It's, now, have uh, we had any of the nitro coffees? We haven't. And I think that's why we yeah. saved this for the end because it's, it's a little different. A little different. You can get other ones. We saw some other ones at the store. Let's go ahead and give it a crack. You, let's go quiet here. Oh, that was a very smooth. I'm going to give this a quick sniff. I also would say the can again. Sometimes does a really good job in they the marketing. Do. Yeah, they know what they're doing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You've spilled this before, haven't you? Oh, yeah. That's some good stuff there. Yeah. Even for, even though you've got an It smells very can, similar it's to easy the to other smell, one. It's easy to smell the bottle, but this one. You know, I wonder. Yeah. I mean, that's, I wonder if it's the same coffee as this other quite, one. Quite possibly, but... but um, just, go ahead and give that a... Go, oh, I'm let, oh. I mean, it's hard to see. It's hard to see, but you can see inside the can, almost like the top of beer. There's almost a little bit of a head to it you can and see in there. that's the nitro. And that's kind of cool. It should do that. All right, Dad, give it a sip. <laughs> Easy there. <laughs> <laughs> I went a bit fast there. You want another sip? A little easier? No, I'm going to give you a good chance, my <clears throat> All right. esophagus, to get that one down. <laughs> <coughs> yeah it's, it's kind of almost it? chocolate flavor it, that's interesting I'm gonna take it's a got drink no now. chocolate in it but it's 
I would say it's not chocolate as in oh, chocolate, yeah. but it, it's the chocolate nutty flavor you get yeah, in yeah. coffee. It's got like a malt flavor. Yeah, but that's the, that's from the coffee, not from an added flavor. And the aftertaste is a zingy. It's got a good zing. We talk about acidity in one of our episodes being good. Mm -hmm. And I think this has a good amount of... It's not acidic as in like sharp bitey, but it's got a good zing to it. It has, again, I think you're talking about the nitro, which right. is an advantage of the nitro. I Let think... have another sip of that. I would say almost that that Stumptown on nitro is almost... It's like it's it's like the cold brew that we had out of the, mm. the glass bottle, but just with nitro. And it's an, it, it does feel that enhancement. It adds another, yeah. And the aftertaste... Is very pleasant. It's brilliant. It's long lasting, but it's pleasant. Very pleasant. I would say this for me gets a six. Whoa, you're going to go to the six? I thought we were we, my, only one to five. It's CC one to five. <laughs> well, it's just it's it, it is. I I I would I would have no problem recommending that or yeah. drinking it myself. Yeah, I, agree. I wouldn't feel I wouldn't feel bad drinking it out in public. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't feel bad telling people all around yep. the world. Or this one. <clears throat> or that one. Yeah. So today... The nice thing about this one... Yeah. It's going to last... I don't know if it has an expiry date on here. Uh, yeah, expiry, might. Here it does here. Uh, expiry by January the 15th. 19, uh, 2019. That's today. Whoa, we just got it in time! <laughs> <laughs> What's that one? You got an expiry uh, on the bottom? Uh, it's, uh, it's a little bit rubbed out. <laughs> it does have an expiration, but it got rubbed out. Okay, no problem. So today the winner is this one. Yeah, I agree. Stump Town. I agree. Cold Brew on Nitro. It is, it is tasty. It's good. It's just coffee mm -hmm. in Nitro. And we're comparing this to cold coffees with the Nitro. Right. That's why I was a bit nervous to do this. I'm definitely a hot coffee drinker. Right. But I have been pleasantly surprised that if I wasn't, if I, for some reason I could have had to take a coffee with me somewhere because I wasn't going to get right. any, not a bad idea. Well, and I think, you know, what? what is the problem with canned coffee? Well, the problem is there is so much variety. You have companies like Coca-Cola who's making the Dunkin' Donuts one. Mm. Where it's like, how do you know that what you're going to buy is going to be good? Mm. And I think today what we've gone through, we haven't obviously gone through all of them. Oh, there's, there's, so there's so many. many out there. But I think it's important to understand that everything has a difference. Every manufacturer is going to be different. Mm. The amount of milk or what they put mm -hmm. in is very different. And I would say at the very end, it's important to look for low sugar. And if you can, if you want that coffee flavor, do not get any flavoring. Whether that's yeah. milk or... Or and, which is mocha. probably the, the same with hot coffee. You go for a black coffee. Don't put the milk and mochas and everything in it because you want to taste firstly, ha the first sip, let it be without all that stuff. Well, and I think like you had mentioned, why is it even important is you could kind of go anywhere and get the, if they sell these stump towns or mm -hmm. even the chameleon is not terrible. Yeah. Um, you know, I can get good coffee th in those places right. with those drinks, and it's a much more widely available. And you can take it with you in your suitcase or something. You don't need to take, it, like I do. I well, take my you grinders. Actually, you and looked the, up the origin story of some canned coffee. I did. Tell us, like, a quick I little... think it was like 1960, 64, eight, nine, somewhere in Japan, which which canned coffee is huge in Japan. Yeah, the guy was having a, I guess, a milky, just cold brew coffee, uh, but the very milk-based, and he was at the train station. And it was in a bottle. A it was in a bottle, bottle, and in those days, they had to take the bottle back uh, to get the refund. Like you drink your bottle, and then you go take it back to the yes, restaurant. the same or place. Or wherever you, cafe you, yeah. or whatever. And he couldn't finish it. He felt bad because he took it back and had milk in it, and he suddenly thought, how can I do this so that I didn't have to rush back or I could just take it with me and use it anytime, anywhere. Right. And this is sort of where this whole, some of this was, was born from. As we wrap up today, I would say if you can go ahead and buy either of these to try them, do it. You won't be disappointed. Yep. Um, if you like cold canned coffee. coffee. Yeah. Or bottled. Bottled or canned. Yeah. But thank you so much for listening. Thank you for joining us Re today. Yes, thank, yeah. thank you for taking me there. I wouldn't have probably gone there if you hadn't led me that way. It did feel funny, you buying coffee I felt, from a bottle. I know, I felt a bit strange, but thank you. Well, and I think, you know, what? what is the problem with canned coffee? Well, the problem is there is so much variety. You have companies like Coca-Cola, who's making the Dunkin' Donuts one, mm. where it's like, how do you know that what you're going to buy is going to be good? We really appreciate you coming in and joining us and spending time listening 
And we look forward to doing more of these. And and, and we really appreciate the suggestion that you mm. um, started you. this whole idea. So again, if you have any other ideas, always feel free to let us know. We enjoy that. We know that this episode we didn't, you know, we weren't just doing all coffees that were just just coffee and water. There were some other additives. So if you feel like we didn't do a great job or there's something we could have done better, definitely let us know. Or a, one that we could try that we hadn't thought of, hadn't seen. And again, we just went to the grocery store. We wanted to make it as common as possible. You know, you go to the store and pick these up. So if there's there's some stuff that's maybe not super common, but you're like, ah, oh, this is really good stuff. Let us know. We'd love to try it. We'd love to give it a shot. Um, no pun intended. <laughs> Coffee shot. Um, but again, thank you so much. Check us out, beanstuff.com. Um, we have a new email list. You can sign up so you don't miss any notifications oh, on new funny. episodes. Again, subscribe. It's free. It's easy. And then you'll never miss it. Your phone will automatically download the podcast episodes. Dad, are you subscribed? I am. I get them every Friday and I go, oh, yeah, we did that. One. I, that's a great one. And then next week, I get it. Oh, that's a great one, too. Yeah. I forgot you're, about it. You're <laughs> in it and you're even subscribed. Yeah. Man, you're dedicated. Oh, dedicated. <laughs> dedicated. Anyway, thank you so much. We really appreciate the time you take out of your day to spend with us. Have a good one. <laughs>